All right, today we have the zero degree of elevation blunt cut. We're gonna begin by parting it in the middle. I'm tipping the comb back and forth on the top of the head to find the apex. That's the highest point of the head. And I wanna connect behind the ears. And give yourself a little bit of room behind the ears so the back section is more manageable. If you go too far or too close to the ear, you're gonna add more hair to the back and it's gonna become more difficult for you, uh, especially because some of this will be your first haircut. This is our first haircut that we teach at the barber school, and it's important that you get this one done correctly. You have to be able to cut a one length. So we're gonna split these two sections into the back in equal parts, and we basically have four equal parted sections once we're done. These sections have to be clean and manageable, and that's really what this is all about. This practice is not about getting a perfect haircut for your first time, okay? We're gonna begin in the nape. We're taking half inch, to an inch sections in the back, especially for the first one for your guide, you want it to be big enough for you to be able to see it. Okay, I realize in the book it says quarter inch to half inch sections, but it's different on a mannequin. There's not as much hair. We're gonna begin by cutting in the middle. I realize you couldn't see this. I was trying to give you a better view. I would never advise you to stand behind it. I was trying to look for a better camera angle and I change it in just a second. But we're gonna begin in the middle. We're gonna work our way out to the edges and you're gonna check it by cross-checking it, making sure it's even. My next section that I take down, I want it to be fairly thin. Quarter inch to a half inch now is acceptable, and we will bring down these sections. And you're gonna be able to see your guide really well if you did this properly. So you can see my guide, my section underneath is clearly visible. If you can't see it, you need to go back and repeat the previous step, or you need to take down less hair. If you take down too much hair, you're gonna cover up that guide. Again, we're gonna work from the middle, and we're gonna work out to the edges. A couple of key points here I wanna mention is I want you to stand still. I want you to keep the part in the center of your body. Don't move around. It's not a good idea because what's gonna happen is you're gonna wind up cutting the edges too short and those edges are gonna become your guides in the front. Another key factor is I wanna keep the head tilted slightly down and that's gonna, pro that's gonna produce a very good cut in the back if you keep the head angled down. If you put the head in the upright position, you will get a true zero degree of elevation, okay? And I realize that tipping the head down is going to create a slight undercut. That's okay, because then you're not gonna have any long pieces sticking out when you go back and double check it. So each time I take a section down, there's really nothing to it. We're just following the previous guide and as long as you established a good guide, you're not gonna have an issue here. Just stay in the center and do not cut if you don't see a guide. It's as simple as that. We work from the center out to the edges and keep those edges nice and square because those are gonna be your guides for going into the front sections. And do your best to not cut them too short. It's so easy to cut them too short. So if you leave them a little bit longer and then do your cross check like I just did, see? You might have thought that you needed to cut that, but you won't. Your zero degree blunt cuts are gonna be perfect if your sides are the proper length, as long as they match. And then when you go into the front sections, you're gonna find it incredibly easy to do. So in my final cross check, I'm really looking for anything. And the camera was a little bit to the side there, but that thing was really nice and straight. I want a pretty good size guide for the side and I wanna tip the head over to the side just a little bit. There's normally a shoulder here and the more you elevate the hair, the better chance you're gonna to have to cut layers into it. We're not trying to cut layers into it, we're trying to keep it at a zero degree of elevation. See me reducing my tension and working my way towards the front. Reducing my tension, working my way towards the front. Again, it's very easy to cut the sides too short, so make sure that you reduce that tension, the ear, on most people is going to cause the hair to push out along with any potential curl which could cause the hair to become uneven or if you put too much tension on it when you cut it what's going to happen it's going to come back up it's going to spring up and where it stops who knows all right so we're going to just go ahead and we're going to follow our sections down i could see my previous guide i'm going to cut it out towards the front and we're going to repeat the same process on the other side. Again, tipping the head, taking myself a nice guide, about an inch, almost two inches at the highest point of the hairline. So at the high point of the ear, obviously the hairline is higher than say at the sideburn. Okay, I wanna take that as high as possible. And 
in the front. It's always better to leave a little bit longer. If, you, if you're not sure, just leave it a little bit longer in the front because it's so easy to cut that too short. If you put too much tension on there, you're, you might cut it just a little bit too short. So you're seeing me, I'm leaving the front just a little bit longer. Now I'm gonna double check it. And if there's any adjustments that I need to make, I'll make them. So it's really as simple as that. That's your zero degree of elevation and stick around because we're gonna do the long layer next. Mr. Eddie Barber, thanks for watching. See you next time.